folks we've got an unboxing for you today it's a security camera we have done an unboxing on a security camera previously so this is the security camera that we unboxed a few months ago this one cost us 20 pounds and we will be doing a future video where we compare this security camera with the one that we're unboxing today to see how they measure up side by side and if it's worth the extra money. So that comparison will be coming real soon, but today we're gonna unbox this. So Paul, you were saying, you were pointing out that this has actually got written on baby camera. Yeah, it's not that it's a small camera, but it's uh, meant for monitoring babies, isn't it? Rather than a security camera, so. Yeah, but in the listing on Amazon, mm -hmm. it was described as a baby camera Straight, stroke right. okay. security okay. camera. Okay. I mean, a well, jack of all trades then. Well, yeah, I mean, you could use the other one that we got as a ba baby monitoring camera, couldn't you? I suppose you could, yeah. But, so this one was cheaper than the last one. This was £13. So considerably cheaper. So we got the last security camera so that we could keep tabs on our Ibo when we're outside the house. And we've got this camera so that we can spy on our frogs outside in our little pond. So we've got a plug. We've got some fixings. What are these fixings? They look like plastic raw plugs mm, and screws. Looks like maybe if you want to uh, fix the base down somewhere and uh, maybe fix it on the wall or uh, the side of the cot. If you're using it to monitor a baby. The manufacturer's Ape Man. And we've got a USB charging thing. This goes in here. Yeah. And then um, on the back of the camera at the bottom, there's a little slot which um, that will plug into and, and powers the camera. So we've got the user manual here. So on the first page, it just shows you the contents, the camera itself, power adapter, USB, power cord, screw accessories, reset needle, it says. Yeah, I can see that there. So the name of the app is Tool Ya Smart. So it's T-U-Y-A -Y smart. smart. And it's compatible with iOS and Android. So it's a storage micro SD card, 8 to 64 gigabytes. So obviously you've got to get that yourself, haven't you, separately. And then it says forward slash cloud. You can store it to the cloud. Oh, right. So let's look at setting up. Search mm -hmm. to your smart on Google Play or App Store or scan the QR code below to download the app. Well, I found it on Google Play and it's interesting, it's got a good rating, 4.6. Oh, right. It's very high. So we'll install right. that and see what it's like. So the next thing it says, open the app, finish the registration and log in according to the prompts. Power on the camera, reset it. Right. And make sure the camera is ready for connection you will hear a double beep. So I'll just tell you folks what Paul's uh, doing at the moment in a min. You've set the camera up uh -huh. and tested it out. It's working fine. Yeah, it works terrific. And it's got a reasonable sort of uh, picture on it, has it? That's not bad, yeah. It's a security camera, so it's a bit wide angle, but it's, uh, it'll be interesting to try it out in this application. So what are you doing at the moment here, Paul, with what looks like a... Uh, milk bottle <laughs> this is grade one bodging it's um a milk bottle cut in half screwed onto a wooden base and uh, it's a sort of an attempt to make a reasonably waterproof housing for the camera just to try it for a few days outside okay so that we can spy on the brooks 
yeah so if it rains it's going to keep it off but obviously it wouldn't be great for all weather all year but it'll be good enough for a bit of a few rainstorms i think yeah and if it started to really chuck it down you could always bring it in couldn't you yeah so this is the weatherproof outdoor box that paul got to plug the pond pump in and he's plugged the camera in there as well it has an extension lead that runs to the power in the house and he's just putting the camera angling the camera next to the pond now using a few stones and now he's going to switch the power on for the camera and we'll have a look at what that looks like so this is footage actually taken off the camera um downloaded from google drive is it paul mm, it was uploaded from to google drive first from the uh from the android phone and then you downloaded it and put it as part of this video didn't you mm, on iMovie so uh, what do you think about that picture there Paul uh for a, a security camera I think it's uh, very good um it's a bit wide angle um you've not got a great amount of detail but it, it gives you an idea of what's going on it's uh, clear enough you can certainly see the frogs yeah, and of course you can pick that picture up on your uh, Android phone from uh, wherever you are, in the garden, in the house, or anywhere else, out and about, well, your mother's, or in a different country, with it being a security camera. Yeah, I've got uh, some footage here. I uh, This is actually your phone mm -hmm. stood in front of the iPad, mm -hmm. and then I'm recording your phone stood in front of the iPad while I was in the house. So, um, oh, you mean you've not uh, downloaded that? You've no, no, look, see, <laughs> oh, right, very good. I, yeah, I actually went went in, so you, you can go in close, um, with the the picture, but it's very blocky. Yeah, yeah. I'll be interested to see what happens at night time because the security camera has a. Uh, some infrared lighting on it, um, just small LEDs, infrared lights, but it's certainly enough to. Uh, light up anywhere within 10 foot of it so i'll be interested to see what goes on around the pool at night time yeah we'll have a nosy mm. so you are now viewing um what's on your phone mm. on the monitor yeah i'm just using the casting app yeah and you can still zoom in yeah. when you zoom in on your phone it zooms in on the screen it's quite nice being able to sit and watch the frogs on the telly. <laughs> so you put this on uh, high definition, but it doesn't really look much different. But it does look a bit different. A bit different, yeah. Why don't you uh, zoom in again on the frogs? Yeah, it is better, isn't it? Yeah. So here's some footage, a few highlights from the afternoon. Uh, the frog just tried to leap out there and fell back but then it just crawled out like it was no trouble to get out at mm. all so I don't know mm. what all that leaping up was about <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and then here the frog got a bit of a shock at something something uh, startled it and woo see that mm. uh, i go it in slow motion but it's just like a blur <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, a bit later on a pigeon came for a drink pretty active isn't it yeah and then a bit later a mouse came for a drink i don't know mm. if you can see that mouse there folks but it's just uh, under the leaf isn't it yeah I zoom in in a min. So it's um it's sort of uh, yeah it's just got up. Sort of reaching down and lapping up yeah. the water. Yeah. 
There it is, folks. How it, cute's that? It's not bothered by the frogs, and the frogs are not bothered by the mouse. No, no, it seems to get on all right. Yeah. <laughs> Can you believe that we've got footage of a little mouse drinking out the pond? So that mouse must live underneath the bushes in the garden then. Must do. In the back, back of the garden. That's so cute. Its little tongue was coming oh. out, licking the water up. Oh. So cute. So they all get on together. <laughs> One big happy family. <laughs> So this is later on. I don't know if you can tell here, but it was actually getting dark That's at this point. Longest day today as well, mm, isn't it? It's got the time. It was six minutes past ten. And um, we saw the large frog, one of the large frogs get out to the pond, go off somewhere. And then we couldn't believe it. These two little frogs. Yeah out the pond so so we hadn't even seen those we today. reckon there's about five there frogs must, at least five frogs at least five frogs we saw three large ones separately and then yeah the, these and then two these smalls. two little ones that just mm. came out after 10 o'clock so they're not as brave as the other ones the, the cameras uh doesn't the camera oh it's just switched yeah, it's, over to infrared the now isn't just it? Yeah. switched over into it this is 13 minutes past 10 so this is only about six minutes, six, seven minutes after uh, the the other bit of fit footage. So it's dark outside now, but it's looking in the, yeah. its own infrared light. And, yeah, um, and it, it um, there was a relay switch switched it onto. Oh, inside the camera, you could hear it. Yeah, you? we could hear it clicking when it uh, swapped over. And um, the ins, one, the one of the smaller, smaller frogs has just got back in the water. Uh, it's over in the corner. You can see it there. Yeah, I don't know it's if you not can... so clear, but you can certainly make its mm. eye out. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if you can tell there, folks, but the eyes, like... They catch the infrared light, yeah, don't they? Yeah, they, like, and, uh, glow. Yeah, they glow like little white diamonds. So it's the following day, and I got this bit of footage this morning. What a dainty little bird this is. Is that a sparrow? It's not a sparrow because it's got like markings on its back that are like stripes. I think it's a dunnock. The uh, pump doesn't seem to put them off, does it? No. Because it's on And then the, I don't think this uh, will have impressed the frogs at all. A very ungainly pigeon having a bath. <laughs> They're so ungainly, aren't they? Mm, probably thinks it's in some sort of jacuzzi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, it's it that other pigeon I looked out the window and it was sunning itself drying off and its friend came and that looks had a like, drink uh, the female doesn't it it's smaller do you think so mm. I can't really tell the difference between them so Paul um what do you think of this security camera so far oh it's been uh, terrific for uh, watching the pool keeping an eye on it at night time and uh, daytime mm. and we think we might get another one don't we yeah mm. um, oh they're so cheap now aren't they yeah and uh, i mean this camera costs 13 pounds mm. and i would say i've had more than 13 pounds worth of enjoyment out of it already <laughs> oh yeah uh, it's quite fascinating watching uh, the wildlife. The mouse was the biggest surprise. Mm, mm. I managed to get some more footage of the mouse today. It was back again having a drink and actually got some better footage of it this time. Clearer footage. And I was actually able to identify what sort of mouse it was when it sits up on the side there you can see it's um white belly and um, white legs and the sort of sandy sides to it and the shape of the face uh because i wasn't sure when it was stretched down like this i wasn't sure if it was a house mouse or a field mouse and when it sits up on the side you can see more clearly that it is a field mouse which is there, there it is. So folks, that's about wraps it up for this video on this camera. Thanks for watching as always and see you next time.